Welcome back to TV5 News at 9. Joining us this morning to tell us more about an innovative treatment is Dr. Christian Hyde from McLaren Proton Therapy. Dr. Hyde, thanks for being here with us. My pleasure. Thank you. Yes. So it's Prostate Cancer Awareness Month, and the American Cancer Society estimates nearly 300,000 men will be diagnosed this year. Nearly 35,000 will die from that disease, which makes it the second leading cause of cancer uh, deaths among men. So tell us, how important is early detection to surviving prostate cancer? Yeah, so early detection is really important with all cancers. And uh, fortunately with prostate cancer, we have a tool, a test, a simple blood test that can pick it up very early. Um, it's called the PSA test and it can be done at any doctor's office. And that blood test can help us find cancer at a very curable stage for most men. So Dr. Hyde, tell us, one in eight men can be diagnosed with prostate cancer in his lifetime. When are men actually most likely to be diagnosed? Sure. Um, so for most men, it's over the age of 65 um, when they develop their prostate cancer, although I have treated some as young as their 30s. Mm -hmm. So it can happen um, almost at any age, but uh, generally in the 60s, 70s and above. And Dr. Hyde, what kind of symptoms should men watch out for? Yeah, so usually it's a silent disease. Uh, when we catch it early, many guys have no symptoms. Sometimes they will begin to have some urinary changes, uh, like getting up more often at night maybe kind of a slow uh, flow uh, when they're emptying their bladder, when they're urinating. And that can be because, be because the tumor in the prostate will restrict the flow of urine. The, the bladder sits on top of the prostate. When it empties, the urine has to go through the prostate. If the prostate's getting full of tumor, it can restrict that flow. And that's something you need to see your doctor about. And Dr. Hyde, uh, if someone is diagnosed with prostate cancer, when is radiation an option for prostate cancer? Yeah, so uh, radiation therapy is a good curative treatment option for almost all men with prostate cancer. The cure rate is just as good, if not better, than surgery, and there's a reduced risk of side effects like incontinence and uh, impotency, or what we call erectile dysfunction. And tell us, proton therapy, is that basically like an alternative uh, to traditional radiation treatment? Yeah, so for, for some guys, um, we worry about doing uh, damage to the surrounding organs, the bladder, the rectum, the small bowel, and proton therapy can help us be more focused with the radiation. So you should be able to see uh, this diagram of or actually a treatment plan mm -hmm. uh, with x-ray treatment on the left and proton treatment on the right. Mm -hmm. And there's this color wash of where the radiation goes. The green is, is kind of a medium dose of radiation. The blue is a low dose. Um, and kind of gray and black is no dose. So there's very little radiation in the proton plan. We're able to bring the proton beam in such a way that we don't go through the bladder and we don't go through the rectum. And it's because the, the proton beam is fundamentally different. It's made of particles that go in and they stop inside the tumor. They can literally stop on a dime where we tell them to, and so they don't keep going into the bladder and into the rectum. Mm -hmm. And that's important because that can reduce the risk of side effects. Down the road, uh, the side effects of uh, conventional radiation, especially in years past, has been damage to the rectum causing diarrhea, mm -hmm. damage to the bladder causing more frequent and more urgent urination. And that can still happen to a, a degree with uh, proton therapy, but when we're treating a big area, including the lymph nodes, it's important to treat as little of the bladder and the rectum as possible, and protons help us do that. How can someone who may be no newly diagnosed get in touch with McLaren Proton Therapy, uh, the center, to find out if they're even a candidate or not? Yeah, sure. So you really need to meet with uh, an expert, someone who's experienced in actually using this new treatment tool. Um, there's only about 40 centers in the country. Uh, we're lucky we have one here in, in Flint, and uh, the way to get a hold of us is to call 855-MY-PROTON, that's 855-MY-P-R-O-T-O-N, uh, or 855-697-7686, uh, and we're also online at mclaren.org slash proton therapy, all one word. All right, Dr. Hyde, anything else that you would like to add? Yes, just that if you haven't um, been screened this year, uh, go see your doctor about it. Uh, gentlemen who are of African-American heritage, we recommend starting screening at age 45. Mm. 
um, the average patient um, starting at age 50. But we know that some patients, black patients, are at increased risk. That's why we recommend starting screening at age 45. All right, Dr. Hyde, thank you so much for that advice. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. You can find more information in the hot link section of our website, WNEM.com.